Julius Caesar, nearly two thousand years ago, to live in the loom of man whose name was Julius Caesar. He was the greatest of all the Romans. Why was he so great? He was a brave warrior, and had conquered many countries for Rome. He was wise in planning and in doing. He knew how to make men both love and fear him. At last, he made himself the ruler of Rome. Some said that he wished to become its king, but the Romans at the time did not believe in kings. Once, when Caesar was passing through a little country village, all the men, women, and children of the place came out to see him. There were no, no more than fifty of them all together, and they were led by their mayor, who told each one what to do. These simple people stood by the roadside and watched Caesar pass. The mayor looked very proud and happy. For was he not the ruler of this village? He felt that he was almost as great a man as Caesar himself. Some of the fine officers who were with Caesar laughed. They said, See how the fellow searches at the head of his little flock. Laugh as you will, said Caesar. He has a reason to be proud. I would rather be the head man of a village than the second man in Rome. At another time, Caesar was crossing a narrow sea in the boat. Before he was halfway to the further shore, a storm outlook overtook him. The wind below heard the waves dashed high, the lightning flashed, the thunder rolled. It seems every minute as thought the boat would sink. The captain was in great fright. He had crossed the sea many times, but never in such a storm as this. He trembled with fear. He could not guide the boat. He fell down upon his knees. He moaned, All is lost, all is lost. But Caesar was not afraid. He bade the men get up and take his oars again. Why should you be afraid? he said. The boat will not be lost for you have Caesar on board.